Hey, buddy. Who is no. this? Who knows his name? Oh, I did it wrong. I, put the, <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, I put it wrong because I got a. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my friend. Hi, everybody. You look beautiful. Um, We're going to give him some ivermectin. It's a I got to turn the phone around. And internal parasites. Oh, my goodness. And it's good for three months. So if you guys are coming in regularly, we'll now I gotta look over there, you. which normally I look okay, over here to that, look at you guys. So okay. and because all the comments are there, this it's easier for me to read and look in the camera. Now I gotta go do that. Um, Hi everyone. So I need to somehow like switch it over. And I have a guinea pig in my hand. Tinker. There's a little okay. tinker. This so little this tinker stinker is not little anymore. Until Look at him. He's huge. A He's a bit, huge baby. Oh my god, he was already huge when he was born, of course. The snake pigs, they're all great. Everyone's great. Everyone's great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Everyone's great. We appreciate it. He's so much like a baby, but that he's just his body is just insane. <laughs> for his uh, age, know, he's like what? Three weeks old. This is so big. He's he's already the, the size of Giacomo. They're both the same size. Yes, you're very handsome okay. lad, and I think he's got a longer hair. Look at how long oh, his hair already is. So. Hi, Irene. Tell Elizabeth she comes back that they're not bored. She's like, oh, I don't know. Tanya. Like, they're bad. Tina, you go. Yeah, this this baby was oh. the only baby born. The mom had only one baby. And when they have only one baby, it's often a ginormous baby. And uh, there's many complications with that actually when they have a big, big baby like this. And what can happen is that it gets stuck in the birth canal for too long because there's so much, you know, sac over the baby um, that needs to be removed right away. So sometimes the mama will start on this end and doesn't get to the front end fast enough. And they can actually, um, you know, choke in that sense. And very sad. So a lot of times when they have these big babies, We'll walk in because it usually doesn't happen when we're there, and it's still warm. It's not, you know, it's, it's passed away. Very sad. So this guy made it. Oh, you're coming! Nice. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you guys. This little tinker. This is so sweet. Yeah, those two boys are getting way big. They need they need to get adopted. Yeah, they need to get adopted. So Elizabeth, can you help me? Just look what I did. I normally have my little looky look over there, so I can see the comments. Hi, Becca. Yeah. So it somehow needs to be changed around. Sorry, guys. <laughs> She's gonna fix it's it. It's gonna be a little shaky though. I'm sorry. Makeup, right? Totally. Yeah, totally. He looks like he's in Kiss or something. Oh, what? Are you getting fed up with me? You don't want to be admired anymore? I have no snacks here. I'm so sorry. Should have brought snacks for you. I should have. I should have. Little baby. Such a little baby. Oh my goodness. Gene Simmons. Yeah, right? I think he's much more handsome than Gene Simmons. Mm hmm. I think so. Yeah. It's cookie now. You want cookie? Want to get your cookie? All right, let's go over. It's a little quiet here. 
It's the quiet for the storm. We have quite a busy morning. And unfortunately, all our adoptions were not booked, which is sad. There's nobody there right now. Because um, I like to see that booked up completely, fully. Yeah. Fortunately, that's not always the case. Oh, is it like is someone getting fed? No. Is someone getting fed? Okay. Come on, switch over. I just need to take her back. Hi, are you all excited too? Where's Jocko? Hi, Jocko. Hi, little Jocko. They got, they got skinny neighbors. Two skinny ladies. They're boarders. Yeah. And it's poop galore in here. I mean, of course. you can literally do nothing all day, especially if you're a little OCD, but pick out poopies all day long. Hi, hi, what's going on, girls? Is there some food to be had somewhere? Food to be had? <laughs> Elizabeth is uh, getting ready for the camp, which we're actually, don't give them anything yet. They, I just know, I needed bit. them. I just gave them a little bit. There wasn't oh, much okay. left. That was little. Little. She needs a bath. Yeah. You know what it is? It's the uh, CBD mm -hmm. that the they grease. put a little too much and then it gets a little bit of greasy. They get a little greasy cyprins. I don't. I don't like that greasy cyprin. So we we make the cage smaller. This is obviously not the size of their cage, so that we can um, make it easier to keep them all in one area for when we do the camp. Now we don't have babies. We only have one little baby in the nursery. So I thought this week would be nice to see the old ladies because this is our old lady in cage. And some of these are for adoption, and uh, and some of them are not. And sometimes people do want an older guinea pig because they have an old female and they would like another. These are all girls. And then we have still some of this. Um, hi, the Norkel boys. Squire. Hi, baby. Hi, Pongo and Pizza. Developed this weird kind of thing on the on the top of his incisors. It's like a, a little lump. It's very odd. And he's fine though. He can eat. It doesn't bother him. So we're going to leave it. He's so old. But you heard there was food, and then that was all so important and exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. Pizza. That's right, Tanya. Pizza. So it's fun when they're all excited when they think it's dinner time. It's coming soon because you are having early, uh, late lunch, early dinner. So they're working on it, okay? They're working on it. <laughs> and then the nursery. What's that, Tinker's mom? No, she came recently she with a baby. Yeah, she came with a baby. Her baby is running around. There's only one baby. Yes, the baby's in the purple days. Yeah, yes. and then he developed a ringworm, which is great. Now, all of them had bats. So that they're, oh, there he is. You can see a little ringworm on the back. Yeah. So, He's developed that two days after arriving and he was already in here so now we just leave him in no point get quarantining now so now we just give everybody a bath so to kill the spores that are on them and he is being treated so he shouldn't have any more active spores to go around so yeah we're good but yeah it's uh, not not a, a, a very super exciting group because there's no babies hi my love I love you Guys, come here. Come here. Come here. Hold on. Hi. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to show you this little man. Oh, I love you. So cute. So sweet. Yes. Very skinny. Octavius. He came and he was already. 
already skinny, super, super skinny. His buddy is big, fat, big. And um, so, yeah, he is just not gaining weight. So I, he is on the extra food list and he gets food and then I go and pluck him grass every day. He's always begging for food. It almost makes me think he has a... Thyroid, oh my god, it's GLO. Thyroid issue because how he's eating so much. Always fat, always hungry, but there is, it doesn't feel like it is. And the doctor did an x ray and he does have some like teeny, teeny stones that are uh, there. So he's on pain medication. Doesn't show any pain, you know, painfulness from that. But he's definitely not for adoption. No. He's not a keeper, yes you are. Now I can't put him with the Buddha boys because he doesn't have CBS. So if he doesn't have that, he will get it if I put him in there. So I can't do that, which is very sad. Because I'd love to, oh, what did I do? Yeah. Thyroid things. <laughs> it's horrible, you know, if that happens in an interview or something, I'm like, Oh my god, what's the word? And it's just such an obvious word that I obviously should be able to, to know right away, you know? Yeah. Anyway, you want a cookie? Here, I got cookies. I do, I do, I do. See, he's a little hyper too, so all of that kind of, you know, points to, to his thyroid. No, dummies? Cookie? Drop your cookie. Yeah, just take a bite of that cookie. He's so good. He's so good. Oh my god. He's pretty tame too. Just let you pick him up. Calcified bullous syndrome. What is CBS? Elizabeth, come and explain. Oh, no, I'm best at explaining this, but calcified bone syndrome is the calcification of the inner ear in guinea pigs, um, and it can cause a wide range of symptoms from chronic upper respiratory infections, high chronic upper respiratory infections, um, um, bite strength, um, so loss of bite strength. The facial it's, muscles are... The facial muscles um, are affected. Recurring up the rest. Oh, there's a huge list. There's a huge list. It's, a whole it's on the website too. If you go to the website and uh, there is actually a menu that says calcified bullet syndrome. There's information there and then there's x rays as well because you diagnose it with x rays. So, head tilt is part of that blindness, deafness. Um, those are usually the, 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 the way we can tell. But there's pigs that have it and are not showing any of those signs. And like my high, highly functioning Buddha boys, like Millhouse has it really badly, but you don't notice it's super high functioning. And then others are really not doing well with it. And their teeth start to overgrow because they lose facial tone because it's all so connected. So the bacteria kind of affect the muscles in, in the face which, uh, you know, it, they can have one eye that's affected, one eye that's, that, that, that goes, uh, becomes ulcerated. Um, it's very typical if it's just one eye. And then, you know, they can't blink, and that's why it happens. They can't blink anymore. That whole, this whole side, that's almost like a stroke, like one side just stops working. So chewing is not really happening so easily. Um, yeah, it's, it's bad. And, um, I kind of discovered that about, I'd say three years now, two and a half, three years ago maybe. And um, because I was always so interested in those head tail pigs, like, you know, why? And um, an x-ray, it's always both the ears, the middle ears that are affected. Now with an x-ray, you usually, Recent set up a Ben Bondi vet had two pigs with bad eyes due to infection behind them. Yeah? Any
anyway, yeah, it's it's bad. And on the X-ray, you'll see that it's it's bone, it's calcified. So the body calcifies the insides of the ear as a defense mechanism against the invading bacteria. Now, once that bone is laid down, bacteria will not be able. Uh, sorry, antibiotics will not be able to penetrate anymore. So, yeah, there you go. The symptoms are. Frequent and chronic upper respiratory infections, very common because the, the bacteria hide in the ears. So what happens is, is that, you know, you give them, of course, antibiotics, but they can't really reach them. So they, they hide up in the ears because that's where they're safe. And then as soon as bacteria goes, ooh, they stop the antibiotics, I guess we can go back. They'll just come back and, you know, wreak their havoc. So you can't get rid of that. And it's not just one bacteria either. That, that would be easy if it's just a one. But when I did um, uh, the, the, the lab, lab work on those, um, they came back with like three or four different bacteria each. And it is on about five to six pigs. And, um, but they, they were like none that I could say everybody had. They were all over the place. So it's bacteria in general. Even found E. coli in the ear in one of, one of them. Oh, that's some phone making a weird noise. Anyway, so yeah. Hi, Lucas. Um, so here is an x ray of a guinea pig that has it. And what we're looking at is this area here. This is the eye socket. We're looking at this and this is not supposed to be white like this this is not it's supposed to look like okay this, which is nice and gray inside so the white on an x-ray is the bone right so it's supposed to look nice like this healthy and in the bola pips in the calcified bola pips that looks like this this one has actually gone beyond the margins even i mean it's like this is really bad and we do see this where it's just gone totally beyond the margins and then there is always one side that worse so they will usually tilt toward the side that's the worst and they will often get you know eye infection or or from not blinking because they can't blink so this info is on the website Thank you. With uh, and I wrote an article for that on uh, Guinea Pig Magazine. Guinea Pig Magazine. Y'all need to get your subscription to Guinea Pig Magazine. Do I have any here? Shadow of it? I do. I do. I do. Guinea Pig Magazine. So you can do uh, if you're in, in America, they'll ship it to you. So and this is a very much rescue. Uh, oriented the the magazine it's um, you know it doesn't it's not about breeding a lot of the magazines are about breeding and articles about how the you know breed x and y together to get what you know none of that it's just completely supporting rescue all the stories are rescue stories and uh, they have like different rescues do they do like profiles on that uh, they have like experts that write articles, and it's just and you know it's just just super cute. Well, that's yeah, this is a little article about you know. Oh yeah, they went out to catch a whole bunch of guinea pigs that were dumped, so they had to go catch them, and this is an article about that. And oh, there's me. I write for them too. This is about how I met Peter Gurney, who is the the first guinea pig guru. Whom I met him when I was like 21 or something in the underground in England. He had a basket with a guinea pig in it. Now, how crazy is that? Because here I am, 35 years later. You know, uh, he passed away sadly, but we were friends up until he, he passed. Um, and yeah. So that was one of the articles I wrote, and now I do more of the kind of the medical things. I wrote an article, the next article to come out is about hay folks and how you can treat those at home, how to recognize, what to do, all the stuff that we do here. So it's got super cool information, and you know, they really need the support. 
they also need to support. And you get it as a PDF, so you don't get the actual copy that's cheaper. They have different options. Just go to, I think it's the guinea pig magazine.com or, or guinea pig magazine.com. So, yeah. Super fun. This chalk block full of cool stuff. You know, and then, then this, uh, the editor started this thing like myth busting about, you know, the apple seeds or, you know, certain things that people do uh, because they read it online that, that, that are, you know, not necessarily um, helpful or true. So they have a, like the team of experts and says, ask the experts. And then they send the question to us and it's a whole group and then we all respond with our answers and then they, you know, post those answers about particular like apples. You know, are apples seek and they eat, you know, uh, apple, how much apple or are seeds uh, toxic, and, you know, things like that. Or the pepper, are the pepper seeds and the pepper, do you feed those or are they, you know, bad? Because a lot of people t cut those out and, and you should not have to cut those out. Yes, we have surrenders. In fact, I've got one here. I'm waiting for space. She has a big abscess that we need to address today. Yeah, it's this one here. But um, I just wanted to get some pigs adopted so we have a space for her to go after I, I drain that. And she has to obviously stay up front. She came with a friend, so and it's like pretty big. So i got to take care of that today. Ron. He has not sent out, no, I haven't got it. I was asking Avery yesterday, like, did you get an email? And I looked too for your name and I didn't see it. So Ron, if you're here, I want to send you the stuff. So you have to go and give us your address, mailing address. So you've got to go to, you can just go to the website and just use the form that's there. That, that's the same thing and we'll get it. You've been trying? It's so odd. It's so odd. Um, I just don't know what else. It's just, a, you know, the email is the best way to get it. For us. Hi, Michelle. You trust me about what I say about food. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you can call too. Talk to Avery and leave your, and if no one picks up, you can just leave your, leave the message. Because I want to get it to you. You can't call long distance. He needs to give us his address. And he, he, it's hard for him to figure it out. But you'll get there. You'll, we'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. So, okay, yeah, so the surrenders. We had two. Two times two girls. And uh, what did we have come in? You weren't here though. Claire brought a whole bunch. She, but I think we already knew that. That was from last week. I mean, the day goes into the day. I don't keep track anymore. <laughs> that was about 50 girls or so, including the little female with her baby. And the little female is like a baby herself. She's like a teenager having, having babies. Um, and she's on pregnancy watch because she probably has more babies coming. And what else? Well, they're being fed now, so maybe we should do it because the girls are going to be upset that they're not getting food, but everyone else is. So let's let's go watch the our our, our lovely senior ladies for a little bit. There wasn't too much corn. Well, there's a bunch in there, so you just pile each so we got six in here so six of everything and a lot more parsley yes and Jonathan hi hey, everyone <laughs> he's still here he hasn't run away yet no, I think he's yet. a keeper oh definitely he loves it yeah he's a keeper and then Adriel I say hi to everyone, Adriel. And by the way, I love how you look today. You look really pretty. Yes. Thank you. So yeah, I think we have a good team now. And these two, they get along really well. 
Jonathan and Adriel. Partner. They're partners. Yeah, that was funny. Life in crime. I told them, I said, you know, the way you've got to look at it is you guys, like the cops, they all have a partner, right? They don't get to pick that partner, but it's like they they work together. They're partners, so, <laughs> so you guys are partners in, you know, saving guinea pigs. Yeah. Here you go, sweetie. Okay. All right, I'm oh, just. Did you, come? did you get fed already? They what? did get fed. They are such a gangsters. I know. <laughs> they're the gangsters, all of you. Oh, they're so cute. And okay. Spoiled one. Get that. Let's have you guys. Um, let's see. Is this a no? We're gonna go this way, guys. Sorry, spare. Just bear with me. Hopefully this will be quick and easy. Well, they never are, but it's all right. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And now. Let's lower the camera so you can see the gorgeous girls eating. Oh, I zoomed in. Is that a good angle for everyone? I think that's good. Oh, that's Nilla. That's who that is. My baby. This one, if you see the orange and the white one, the orange and white American on the right, the bigger one, her name is Wispy, and she is seven and a half, almost eight. She looks a little greasy right now because of the CBD, we gotta give her a bath, but, oh, my baby. I came in one day and I was like, wait, why does Chiclet look so big? And then I realized, Oh, we got a new piggy that looks almost like Chicklet. Chicklet's the other white and orange one in the middle. Um, so these piggies are all of our senior ladies. Some available, some not. Um, some like Ahsoka, who has a tumor. She's not available. But yeah. We figured it's been a while since we've seen our older ladies. Oh yeah, they're getting watermelon today. They're very happy. <laughs> I didn't even notice we got Nilla over here on the left um, with the black and white and the little orange spot on her. She came in with a pretty nasty eye infection. Um, her eye was bloody, it was kind of goozing. Um, and we just kept treating in teramycin, optics care solution, um, optics care solution, and we, she was also on Bactrim for a while. Then she also had an abscess in her neck that kept coming back, and there were also multiple there. But um, she saw the vet, and she's doing so so good now her eye looks wonderful like you can't even tell anything happened to it I remember I came in one day over the summer and I just see her eye bulging with 
like the red tissue coming out and it was irritated and inflamed but it looks brand new now
there's also like a bunch of girls in the back. We don't find anybody. Oh, the piggies. Hi, piggies. Hi, piggies. Yes. I think we should. Um, let me just double check if there's something you have to 
Okay. girls doing? We don't we don't work with foster homes. I think I explained that last week. Mommy, are you okay in there? What's going on? No, you stay with the foodies. Good girl. Oh I just wanna hang there. You're okay, Mama. Foster homes, yeah, so because we have so much space here, we don't utilize foster homes. There's rescues that don't have a facility and then it would make sense. But to manage like foster homes out there with pigs of ours, that we just don't, I don't have the bandwidth for that. And we have you know, we have what we have, and, and that's as much as we want to rescue. It's not about adding more and more and more. It's really about, you know, the quality over quantity. So, yeah, I mean, in terms of space, maybe I could have 20 fosters. So, there could be maybe 20 or possibly 40 pigs that could be rescued. But it's just too much, and, and I, I we need to know our limit. That's really important. So... This what we have here. That's the limit. There, get some there. Sitting in the corner and not eating. Hey, you be nice. You be nice. Come on, Soka. Come on, good girl. So then, being a little not nice to her. That's why she's hiding over there. And we have a lot of guinea pigs here. <laughs> it's not like we, we don't have enough. Okay. Let's go take a look at the tree. 
terrific and Padraic. They have a, we moved them up a little. Hi, you are so funny. You can see her. her. <laughs> Very sweet girl. All right, untangle this octopus. All right. Padraic, how are you? Terrific. Are you devouring? You are devouring the corn. There. Where's your mama's baby? Where's your mama's baby? I don't have. No, no snackies. Just my finger. Oh, how funny you are. He's so funny. Hi, baby boy. Hi, baby Winky. Let's see your nosy for a second. Come here. You're okay. So yeah, much better. I don't like it when they're down. It's just hard to interact. Same for when you have pigs at home. When they're like on this level with an open top cage, it's so much nicer because you interact more, you see more, you notice things, and your pigs will become tamer. Hi, Grimoire. You already finished dinner? You already got your fill? Okay. Good boy. There's some more Norkel boys. I think I showed you. And show me. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Okay. Let's go say hi to Jimmy. Shavings? This stuff? This pine shavings. Kiln dried pine shavings. Jimmy. Handsome Jimmy. Look at him. Look at how handsome is he. He's a handsome boy. I love him. He is so handsome. The white stuff. Oh, that's Coroplast. Hi, Sally. Yeah, Jimmy's super handsome. Very photogenic. He's just gorgeous. Gorgeous model. Where can you get the sheets? Good question. We get them wholesale, like 100, 200 sheets at a time. But you can uh, also get the cages. There's a KV, K A V E E cages that make really beautiful ones, and it's already scored, and you just have to um, put it together basically. There's no, you don't have to worry too much. And you eating good. Look what I found. More parsley. Good boy. You like your melon, don't you, Binky? I love that it's melon um, season. Watermelon's cheap. So now we get the good melon. Hi, Danita. How are you, Missy? Are you doing okay? Yes, sign shops will often have them. There's Maya. These are skinny. She's so single because she doesn't get along with anybody. Not good. Yeah, not so good. How's the Buddha boys doing? They're so spoiled. They're already done. Look. But I like it when there's extras, which means that we fed enough. If they are done with their food in like five minutes then and it's gone, and then I always say we didn't feed enough, we can do some more. I love it when they leave some, and they will. This will be gone by the morning. They will eat it. But that means that I have fed enough because guinea pigs will stop when, they, when they're when they done, when they've had enough. They'll stop eating. 
So I like it when there's leftovers. So they will eat that all throughout the day. All right, let me see how the health checks are doing. Now things are here in our adoptions. adopting today? We yes, are. we are. You're on YouTube, is that okay? Yes. That's great. Hi. Good to see you guys again. Oh, hi, baby. Are you a good boy? Uh, yeah, you Can you say so Can you say for me? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Aww. She is a little bit. Hi. We actually adopted Hazel from here. Yeah. You're right. This one, yeah. mm -hmm. Hazel. Hi, Hazel. And she's getting to know Grace right now. And she's running around. She doesn't like that I that I put the put up the Heidi. She wants to hide. But you girls, are you doing good? Looks like they're doing good, huh? Yeah, it looks good so far. Grace just looks a little scared. Yeah. Well, that looks great. Let me show you the weather. Woo, it's hot. Oh, nothing to do over here. No. Nope. It's slow today. Oh. Maybe I should just quit for the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah I can never quit. This is the problem. I can never quit. <laughs> Uh, we did a fun little video earlier, so hopefully I can get that up tomorrow. It's about poopies. And I did a fun little thumbnail for that. Poopies. About boy and girl poopies. So now I'm giving it away. It's actually really fun. We had fun doing it. We laughed a lot. So, I think I can share that with you tomorrow. Should I get my big places to hide or not so he can get used to me and moving around instead of hiding all day? So, do you have, if you have an open top cage, that would be the best. So, I have two videos or three on YouTube about taming. And there is one which, it's a little tough for some people because they feel like they're getting big hates them afterwards. <laughs> Which I, I, I assure you they do not, which um, involves just holding them, putting them back in the cage, but you're not releasing. And, and they already start kicking and scratching your, your arms because they see the cage and they want to go in. So this is like on the premise of you, I'm not going to let go until the piggy calms down. And they do calm down, but they could be doing, you know, I always say kick like a bronco and just like oh my gosh just try and get away from your grip to go run into the into the house and run away from you so you don't let them go you just hold them on the ground and you'll f see them fighting and put position your hands because some piggies might might actually try and, and, and nibble you at that point um, and as soon as they calm down you reward that by releasing a little bit of your grip and then they think "Ooh, she's releasing a grip I can run and then when you feel them tense up you just hold them again so they learn like very quickly that if they relax you will relax as well and you can do it I can do it four times in a row you will see that by the fourth time it's a different pig already you have to do it right and with that one you have to stick with it so that one you can just do with the Heidi's in the cage uh, then there's another one which is a really easy one which is actually just a scratching on the head and I haven't done a video on that uh, for that one you want to take everything out and what you do is you just gently follow your guinea pig with your hand you want to make sure your energy is also nice and, 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 and relaxed and 
what you do is you literally just want to get to the pig and, and to be able to scratch. A, the guinea pig will start running around and away from you. But, and maybe you can divide your cage in half so that they don't have the whole run of the cage. And then you just follow your piggy very gently, just follow. And they are just running away from you, running away from you. But there is a time very, very quickly where they will stop doing that. And that's when you can scratch the head. Scratchy, scratchy. And you just, they're like, oh my God, I'm just so, she's gonna kill me, she's gonna kill me. And then what you do is you, bring your hand away and then a pig goes wow that wasn't so bad that was actually nice I got a little scratch on the head so you've already changed something there in, in, in that brain just by doing that and then uh, and, and you want to end it with not with a guinea pig running away from you you have to be the one that pulls away from the pig you can then leave your hand in the cage but you also, you have to be slow. Because any fast movement's just gonna scare the pig and that's not what we're trying to do. So you then go back in and you follow the piggy around like really slowly and then the pig will stay. And that's when you scratch, you scratch. And then from scratching there, you can go a little further. I kind of do the scratches behind the ears. And, you know, don't touch the back end because they're very sensitive and they're not, they will run, they're not gonna like that. Um, so that is also a really good way of doing it and we've had a lot of success with that in the tower cages with pigs that are so scared. I don't like adopting them out when they're super scared because they are likely that the family who is adopting, they're not probably gonna be able to tame the pig or not, they don't have the time for it or, um, the animal has much more chance of being happy and in a, in a home that's going to want to keep the animal. So if the people are kind of scared of the pig because it's, the pig is super scared, running away from them, it's no fun. So it's in our interest to get the pigs as tame as we can before we adopt them out because that will um, lessen the amounts of returns that we get. We do the same with the horses, same philosophy. Nobody wants a horse that is badly behaved, that's got issues, that you know is not tame or spooky. So we, we do a lot of work with the horses with that, you know, training them not to be scared of the plastic bags, a lot of groundwork with the horses. And that is really important before we even put a saddle on. We do a lot of work on the ground. Um, because a well-trained horse is likely to be safer in a home and you know that a horse horses go through more homes in their lifetime than any other kind of pet it's not uncommon for a horse in its lifetime to have 12 different homes crazy right but that's horses it's like constant constant trade in these horses can't stand it very confusing for horses. We have piggies. Yeah. Oh, we have piggies. There's another one in there. You got it all. Oh, it's there. This pretty girl. Hi. Hi, you up there. Hi. Just the this is you. This the We're one. expecting another adoption to come. We haven't come yet. We have three. Dirty I gotta bring you guys down. Somehow, her nobody brought yours. No, see, I, I wasn't the one. I wasn't the one who said about that. Yeah. So well, they're reading glasses, but they're progressive. So when the piggy moves, you lose your spot. Oh, that's I, I why think I got I can make it work. so you could see no matter where they move to. Yeah, these will work for me. So, I like to be able when I do nails is to take each nail individually. So I have that much more control than if I, like, I don't know, people do it like this. 
and that it just doesn't work for me. I want to have that control, so I put my thumb. Ah, thank you so much. And a lot of people go, "Why oh, did you do it so like it's like nothing? It takes us an hour, and everyone's crying and <laughs> upset and like, oh my goodness." And and uh, I don't know, it's just so second nature for me. It's it's. The monkey. Monkey? Donkey? I don't know. What? I don't know. She asked me if there's a mule. It's a mule. Yeah. Yeah, no donkeys. We have a little mule that is uh, not is my friend's mule that was rescued recently. She does um, horse rescue. So she's here just for a few days till she goes on to her permanent home. She's very sweet. Yeah, very sweet girl. Okay, picked her up. We did like six or eight, I don't know, 800 miles driving in, in wow. the day. To, at the pick up a horse, the, oh, none of our horses, well, just for our friend. Uh -huh. Pick up a horse, went to Victorville. I mean, to, I don't know. He left super early and he didn't come back till super late. But he likes driving. I think that has something to do with it. He's uh, happy to help because he actually kind of likes driving. And there's no way I'm going to sit in the car for that long. I just don't have the patience because I'm like, man, I feel guilty. i got so much to do. What am I doing here? <sighs> okay. This looks good. Why is this so dirty, Mommy? Did she also have dirty uh, top of her feet? No? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Causing that. What's that causing that? Hmm? Okay, let me see your teeth. Oh, you're so pretty, good girl. Yeah. You're a very good girl. Okay, let's feel around a little more. Let's feel around a bit. Okay. I guess you're doing a boy. I don't know yet. Oh, you just use your gloves? They got this baby from the pound and they wanted to. Oh, which shelter was it recently? When did you get this? Um, a year. A year. Uh, January 8th. Oh, nice. He was at the dog shelter. Yeah, which one? Uh, we live out in Amy. Where? In Lancaster. Oh, okay. Oh, well, good for you guys. Yeah. It's a boy. Oh, he's a boy. It's a boy. Yep. That's a boy. He's very pretty. He looked like a boy. I, I just saw his face and I was like, you're probably a boy. <laughs> Does he look like he's fed well or overfed? Can't overfeed them. <laughs> They'll give you a food list. Yes. Can you pick stuff when they when they know they've had enough? Okay. You can feed them all the, the right food, unlimited. Yeah, you can basically just free feed them. So we always have the hay and the pellets, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's always the case. And then the vegetables is always like morning. Yeah, we do it in the evening. Some people do it twice a day. They just divide the portion between the days. Okay, we just stay there. Don't move. Talk to the thing, not you guys. Hi. Someone help you? Of course. Do you want to do the outgoing health check? I, I can, yes. Let's do Grace's outgoing health check. She got it softed. Yay. So this is one of ours, and we're doing an outgoing health check on Grace because we, and it happens where we find stuff that has developed. We do not want to adopt out a guinea pig with any issues. So in order to minimize that, we always do an outgoing health check because some pigs, you know, they can develop something in days that we didn't pick up on right away or but that we will pick up on on the outgoing health check. So I'm messing this all up. It's going to fall, probably. Okay. okay. All right, little Gracie, check your ears. They should clean. Check your feet, sees. 
check your business. Feels good. This, have you fed them any? Feel yeah. right here for stone. Orange or red veggies. Some older recently, girls yeah. can get what? sludge what? stuff that then becomes what like a, a little what? stone that okay. gets stuck right here sure, at the opening of the like urethra. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to make sure it's not blood. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. It's every so often it's like a treat for them that I'm doing. That's it. But I see that when you don't eat it, it looks like it's all colors. Ivermectin prevents lice, mites, and internal parasites, and we use it as a preventative as well as a treatment. But here we go, a little drop on the ear, and then I kind of do that, double the ear over, and there's so many little veins in the ear so that it gets absorbed into the bloodstream that way. There's actually never a need to inject Ivermectin into a guinea pig. This is a very effective method, and I was actually a veterinarian who taught me that. So, the vets still routinely inject it, and men, guinea pigs, really hate injections. They, they, they're kind of painful for them. Where did she go? The one on the left. Yeah, far left. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Healthy Grace. Okay. Healthy Grace. So, let me show you. Kind of got a little busy. A little more people here. I'm just trying to get this settled. Sorry, guys. I'm the worst. We know this, so. And so do you. This is a check. I'm for that. Are you leaving me? I'm here next week, or are you doing zoo stuff? Oh, I'm so sorry. It wasn't my fault. It was, it was her fault. So we sat the red and count on it. You want it? Why will? Here's the Saturday, so I'll come in on Sunday to help. Oh, so okay, okay. I'll be back this Saturday. Okay, so then I'll see you next Thank Sunday. You. Thank you, my love. I love Elizabeth. She's been here for so long. She's a little girl. She's why so much. Awesome. I'm still gonna figure out to do with my abscess. These ones are boy going to Again, I have to do the end of the day. Um, I would like John to do more. Okay. 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 Yeah, bring them up. Okay. Teaching them the good stuff. Okay. And having someone else make them. Yeah. Maybe it would be good if we can, you, me, and Catherine, can just grab them and say, hey, just you know, hang out here for a bit. Okay. Yeah, because they need to learn. They need to learn. Emojis. Sally, only two. <laughs> oh, funny. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. So, yeah, I haven't tallied it up how much uh, uh, the, the crystal sale that I put on. It was like 
three days where Etsy was giving people $10 for any orders over 40 um, and I combined it with the coupon code for the shop and all the funds going to the rescue so I haven't tallied it up I'll, I'll give you the, the, the final amount but it's yeah. uh, you know it's a nice amount my neck is great I do feel if I'm doing too many health checks and my head is down all the time, I know I gotta take it easy with that. But other than that, I have no more pain. Like it's like as if it never happened. It's unbelievable. So if anyone of you listening, struggling with something that's just so painful and you're dreading the surgery, don't, just do it, really. I also have two hip replacements and I couldn't walk anywhere. If I had not done that, I would be crippled and in a wheelchair right now because I couldn't walk. So I am so happy and I should have done that earlier too. And a lot of people wait on the hip surgeries and it just doesn't make sense. Do it. Just go and do it. Feel better. Yeah. You got your ports. Good. Yeah, this, the pieces are lovely. And I'm finding more suppliers too, Sally, that have just such amazing stuff. And, um, you know, a lot of people tend to stay with maybe one or two suppliers, but I'm out there looking for cool new things, you know? And I'm finding new stuff all the time. It's like blows my mind. Um, yeah. But it's kind of part of the hobby is always the buying of it but you know it's tough just like the client buys and says oh my god I just I have an addiction to this <laughs> I have to <laughs> as a seller no nope, not a superwoman definitely not listen I'm 55 I can feel it I feel it I'm just not like doing things that I used to be able to is someone helping you, sweetheart? My feet are right for you. Oh, and then you need a health check. Yes. Oh, and I'm just sitting here talking. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Should have just nudged me, say, hey, lady, stop talking. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Nobody told me either. That's Charlie. Charlie. We're going to give you a little checkup. All right, Charlie. He's an old man. Okay. Charlie, the old man, doesn't feel like an old man, not really. Okay. Let me get y'all down. Without. Hey, Adriel's coming up soon. Who? Uh, Adriel. Oh. Just to walk over. Yes. Can you help me get this straight? Yeah. Because I got a pig in one hand and this, this is going all the wrong ways. I just want it so that people can watch the table. Yeah. Good. That's good. I know that wobbly thing. Okay. So yeah, just walking through, just want you to watch me walking through a health check. So um, I don't have a particular, like I start with this or. I do, otherwise I forget stuff. <laughs> yeah, and it, you should really. So, mm -hmm. but usually I will do the nails before I look at anything else. Yeah. So let's go do the nails. And you know how I hold them, right? Mm -hmm. Like this, and then I like it that I can put my finger on each individual nail. That way, I am less prone to make a mistake and cut the quick, see, if I just, because if you're just trying to do it like that, that's 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 an accident waiting to happen. Then, oh, what happened here? Wait, was this pick here no. no that's a common thing. Now, when they get older, you'll see that these nails can really start to curl. See that one? Curls inwards. And those can be a little hard to trim, but you just got to do it. You just got to find that piece where you can still cut it. There. Because that starts to curl in, sometimes into the pad, and that's kind of ouchy. And then this one also has some the keratin build up underneath it where that curly curly toe was now this toe what happened ma what happened buddy this looks like there was some kind of trauma that, that may have pulled out his nail and it's may come back normally but there's nothing to cut from you there right now turn him over bring him close get that little footsie 
and do the same thing. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see. And you see when he's pulling away, I can set, I can tell if I can just keep holding on to it or if he is just not going to stop. And then if I feel that he's just not going to stop yanking, I just give him back his little paw. And I'll pick it up again. And we play a little game like that. But I never get frustrated. You know, eventually they'll let me do what I need to do. Now, I often will pull, pull them back, but with the older pigs, I'm a little hesitant because they might have arthritis. Could be a little painful in the joint, so I can actually just do them like this over my hand. And then everything else still holding on to the pig. Oops. Yeah. Okay. So, that out of the way, I'm going to check his ears. And we're going to check if they're actually dirty and need to be done. Yeah, I just pulled that out, but let me see. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit dry. So what you want to do, John, is you want to just do one drop, okay? Mm -hmm. One drop, and then you, you you kind of massage it in. You put one drop. If you put more than one drop, you're gonna get greasy sideburns. Yeah. And we're not on that. There. If it's really bad, the ears, I could sometimes I will let them soak before I clean them out, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Now, this part here, uh, you can see that right here, where there is no hair, the part of the ear, you can also clean that because that too gets icky stuff on it. And then I just go dig out gently the oil and with it will come all the dry skin and I use my thumb as kind of a see like this so I can really get into certain areas and it looks like clean ears to me and we turn it over and we do the same with this ear And I'm doing this here because that is also dirty, that little piece here in front. And it doesn't look so impressive what comes out because his the color of his skin is light colored and the stuff that comes out are like kind of dead skin cells that are, you know, obviously always the color of the pigment of the skin. There. And that is good. So, teethies, I want to go all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. Now, you can see he's got a little hair stuck on his bottom teeth. See that? I just, you can use your finger to remove that. I will often smell it, and that's because, and this is actually a little smelly, that is because any food that gets stuck there, whether it's hair or food residue, anything, will, if it stays there long enough, it's going to collect bacteria and that, that's going to start to smell. So that's what you're smelling, our bacteria. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, we, we don't want that. No. That means that he needs this looked at a little more often and cleaned out. And then your top part, you get a little bit of stuff in there not too bad what about underneath that will do it underneath can I see it looks okay yeah you look okay good boy good boy good boy sometimes you do want to do a little disinfect in between because I just touched those teeth that were the smelly stuff that came out of his teeth and now I'm gonna feel for lumps And then I'm going to feel his lymph nodes here. They're like little kidney beans right underneath the arm. But you've already learned to isolate those, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we do the same here because they do can get like the lymph node cancer actually. It's not very common, but it does happen. And then we go do the, the bottom the bottom part. So the fun part. And then you, he's nibbling on my shirt. Yeah, in my shirt. Okay, how is this thing? Is 
this? No. <laughs> yeah, these are in that. So Ow! Them. She's like pinching, nibbling me. No, no, no don't do that. I like to put a no. little towel here, a little oh, something okay. because yeah. all the ickies yeah. that comes out, I don't want it on here. I want it on there. Yeah. So, first I'm gonna do is winky. And he's got a bit of a dirty winky. So, and again, you don't want to take it off this way. You want to take it off that way. Because yeah. it's, it's a little barbed, the penis. And that way, you, otherwise you go against the barbs and that is a little ouchy. Make sure. Yes, yes, I know, not comfortable. And then you always want to squeeze till you see the prongs. And that's when, if there's anything stuck in the urethra, you will be able to address that and find it. Okay, baby boy. Okay, baby boy. You okay. You okay. And then... And you're pretty good. You mastered this one, the one finger. Now, this is a poopy, so you can really see where the anus is. And this is not the anus. This is a pocket right here. That's the pocket. Here is the anus. <laughs> We're cleaning out this pocket, which contains smegma, which is like sebaceous material. And they have these pores in there that actually secrete that and when you have older males you can really see it you can see the big pores and you can actually yeah you got funky poop dude look at that it's a funky poop that was a funky poop yeah I, that, that actually looked clean i don't i don't actually need to do anymore so there I'll take up this you can towel want to make sure you don't get it on the pig or yourself because it's just stinky stuff so I just get rid of it right away, there. So that is all good. I didn't find anything weird. And now he needs his little ivermectin on the ear. And this is how much I put, just a little bit. And then I double the ear so that it gets absorbed. Okay, now I know you already know all this, but it's, not, it's good to see it again, you yeah. know what I mean? So he's good, and there's one more. What is going on? Wow, that is a big pig, guys. Looks like a coolie. Has he always had these big sides? Wow. But this is not from gas. I know, because I did all that. Yeah. Did they do an ultrasound? Well, I can't say I feel a lump or anything, like very obviously. <laughs> Alright, but if that's, I'll, I'll call Adriel to come check and have a look at you doing a full health check. Yeah. Just so she's aware of that yeah. as well. Hi, dude. You beautiful. Yes, such a beautiful boy. Look at this guy. He's enormous. Enormous boy. You are beautiful. Yes. Nice clean ears. They're not dry, so. I was like, I don't care. He doesn't care. Okay, let's just start with your nails, these kiddo. He's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, 
She didn't. She. I had a basket, and she just gave it to me. She didn't tell me that that she was just taking all that. That's so, not a curled in toe. So if you want to take them, and they are a little or hard, you but you gotta just get these them. These are her orders. Oh, no, you're talking about, no, I'm talking Ooh, about he's got a lot of dirty, that, um, he's got a big um, oily gland that's very active. I was planning on bathing up today, right now I'm trying to tomorrow. Now I can cut some of it off because, if you, if you want me to. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I, I always cut it because and it might look a little weird when I just do it, but it'll yeah. be better for him to go ahead. It's always been like that. Yeah, yeah some have just really yeah, active good. glands, so I think so. Some people like to bathe them, but it's 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 really hard to find a shampoo that 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 works. Some people say use Dawn. That's a real good grease cutter, you know. Um, but I just prefer the easy way out, and that's just to cut it off. And then when you do that, and you have this area here, you can actually you know take off the excess grease with your fingers. With, I, I use my nails a lot, so yeah, I've got like a little bit of excess. But this looks much better already. This is the grease gland, and he has like a, a kind of an overactive grease gland. So I just cut off the the worst of it. Did you like a little pick? Do you pick at it the stuff in the inside, like or no? There is no inside. It's all or outside. Like, yes, okay. this gets all the off. greasy stuff, so I just okay. kind of scrape it off with my finger. Yeah, oh, there. No, it doesn't look too bad, but it definitely looks better than having all that black stuff sticking out from this. Didn't cut a lot off, just you know, the greasy stuff. Here. Okay, teeth time. Let's check your teeth. Beautiful. Oh, what a happy boy. Oh, what you got? What you got? What you got? Nothing. Okay, that's good. Good, good boy. <gasps> good boy. He is just a big guy. Big sides. <laughs> so this is where he thinks, oh, he's got a memory gland issue here. So do you want to come over? I can show you. So males past the age of three and a half can, it's usually three and a half or more. How old is he? Two and a half. Two and a half? Yeah, he's he definitely... Yeah, he, he was a baby. He was a wow, baby okay. Yeah. Then he's starting young with that because look how his nipple is kind of leaky. See that mm -hmm. stuff that came out here? His nipple okay. is yeah. leaky. Okay. That means that there is a little Ooh. tumor there. That is a memory gland tumor. And it often has like a little whitish stuff. And these, unfortunately, you're going to have to remove because they get really big. They can get real big. Do you have insurance? No. I'll talk to you in a little bit and explain how that works. So I'm just doing that to release a little pressure on it. Oftentimes, it's just a nipple and the nipple becomes really big and, and engorged with like stuff that needs to come out. Um, and here on this side, this actually feels more like a lipoma and he's got multiple like lipomas here. It is like 
Those are the fatty tumors that you don't really have to worry about, but you want to keep an eye on. But yeah, this one though is not a lipoma. That is a memory gland tumor, which is, it happens in males more than in females, which is really odd. Yeah. done stop still coming out okay yep. all right so let's go into the rest but that's why you come here so we can find stuff before it becomes a huge problem right we have a vet list as well yeah I go to Glendale Small Animal Hospital tumor that scares me because I lost his, the kid I had before him uh, had a tumor and it was too late by the time. What kind of tumor? I, it was in his, I don't, I don't remember what it was. It was in Inside? the middle of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Those are different. Yeah. These are not necessarily life threatening. Yeah. And they don't necessarily metastasize. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cause that was. Of I, the it was, tumors to get, this is actually one of the, the nicest ones. Okay. That's good. So when I just cleaned that, but you see the outside is still a little dirty, so I put, put a little oil in there, Adriel. I'm sorry, but and then clean it off. And the way to do it best is just to use your fingers and then to wipe that on the tissue, the stuff that you get off. If there's too much buildup here around on this fleshy part of the skin, then you risk that the uh, that it, that he's gonna get a, an Audi instead of an Innie. All right, buddy. Oh, sorry. Almost done. Okay. Almost done. Smegma. So you want to use the whole pig in your hand and, and, and use this to really spread this. Yeah. So that you can get all of it out. This sebaceous material, which comes from those pores that you see. It's real. He loves his medicine. One time, when my mom was giving him the medicine, he tried yanking it from the top of my mom's hand and keeping it to himself. There, buddy. Good boy. This is actually closer yes. to three. Or avocado I got him oil. January. He was born January 2021. Yeah, I always say three and a half, and they usually get it right at three and a half. Okay. Yeah, I don't know he was, why. He was a little tiny potato when I got him here. Yes. He's not anymore. No, he's not a little potato. He's a big sweet potato. It's just inside. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, don't, don't be too, too freaked out about that, but you know, well, you do want to address it, of course. All right, kid. Okay, here you go, sweetheart. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to put this here for a minute. Okay. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> We're so close. Why is it so close? So we got some lettuce. Although the big legs are bent awkward too. Yeah, it's a little awkward. <laughs> I don't even know. Hey, girl. Lettuce to donate. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, we wonderful. Thank you. That. Thank you so much. And then, oh, they kind of ate some on the way here. Oh, can they see this is good I, angle? I, I can't thank see. Thank you so much. I can't see the screen. It's facing the other way. He's hiding. You just want to hide. Okay. So you put in case okay. Let me see. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> That's not where I wanted to go. Oh my gosh. Okay. How about that? That will work. Okay. But he's a little. How old is this been? They're about three years old. Okay. He's a little on the thin side. Yeah. I know, um, you said he was the bully, but the other one's chunky the, and this one's thin. He is the bully, and um, recently I, I had him, so 
few months ago, beginning of this year, he had an abscess, so we took him to the vet, and so yeah. then he kind of lost weight during that time. And then recently, not too long ago, he had a bloody stool, mm -hmm. and so I brought him to the vet, and we had the medication. He just mm -hmm. barely finished it, but we noticed because of that, because of that he lost weight. Okay, okay. What you can do, too, um, to help is Vinovac. After how he was on antibiotic? Um, let me see. Do you know? Was. I'm, I'm going to look it up right now. Okay. Yeah, look and see what the medication wants because when they're on antibiotics, um, doing a probiotic kind of helps restore the good gut bacteria. Um, and it'll also help increase the appetite too. You're a wiggly one. You're a wiggly one. Let me put the tissue, put the eckies on. Let's see if we can put, ah, keep it from blowing away. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. He was on a uh, hair. He was on. Sulfa, okay. Yeah. And melo, melo, meloxicam. meloxicam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, meloxicam is an anti-inflammatory, and the other one is an antibiotic. So yeah, do get some Benavac. You can get it on Amazon. What's it called? Benavac. B e n e b a c. You could get a syringe, a gel, in a syringe, and you do one turn each day and if he's still on medication you want to do it an hour before at least an hour before or two hours after so you don't cancel the medication so stop chewing on my watch the, mister the powder ones it no it's a gel it it's comes a gel. in a syringe oh here it is and you turn a little dial mm -hmm. i see i see it this stop right? chewing on my watch Yes, and that will help restore the good gut bacteria, and that might also help increase his appetite after having been on meds. Yes, it's okay. that. I'll order right now. Yeah. Mama, what kind of guinea pig are cooking? They are. Don't do his eyebrows. They're American they're short hair. You're wiggly. Can you sit down just a minute? Sit down just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah, so he's good. But yeah, we want to get a little weight on him. So, be good. Yeah, he's really good at taking medicine. Uh huh. Yeah, they, a lot of the stuff is flavored really well. They like it. So it makes it, makes it a little easier like that. First time I did it, he didn't like it, but this yeah. time was like, give it Once to me. Once they realize that you got the goods. Yeah, I'm going to clean up his icky, stinky stuff and do your other piggy. But is he good so far besides on the weight side? Yes. Yeah. Everything else looks good. You just want to get some of that weight back on. Yeah. Let's get his friend. His brother, the chunky the one, one. I know. The one who's getting all the food. This is the friend. Look at this <laughs> chonk. So this is the chonky friend. Yeah, Isn't he cute? Look at that. I love me the chonky boys. Yeah, his brother is They're the one so that gets sweet. sick, but he doesn't. Yeah. He is very sweet. Okay, he, but he hates this. Oh no, he hates oh, this. He, right. he bites me. I've spent like an hour with him. Nah. He's gonna be a good boy. He's gonna be a good boy. Yeah, that last one is curly, so I have black to see one it. A month, and like I always trim just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. Nuggy. A little tricky to get in sometimes to the curly ones. Yeah. I love trimming cookie. He's you smell all the guinea pigs on me, don't you? He's always way away. Right. They they do that where they bury their nose into your shirt because they smell all the girls that you've been holding. So sometimes when oh, I get a super a super sniffy pig, then I'll, okay. take, I'll take I'll take them and oh do God. the um, alcohol on my shirt to kind of cover up the girl smell. You're okay, so baby. That they don't do that. There you go. See, I got it. You just had to be patient. Scooch over here so you, they can see you online. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Valerie, quick question. Yes. Um, yes. Did you write this on the surrender form? This up here? No. The whole fashion. They say don't submerge them under uh -huh. and I'm just like, mm. We do it more like a shower. It's more like yeah, a shower. Right. It's the way that you hold them and they have the running water from the faucet. Now I do have a little pan with just a little bit in there for them to sit in while I'm lathering them. And sometimes if they're fungal and you're soaking them a little bit, you know, they have a little bit of a shampoo water that they're sitting in while they're lathered up. But it's not like you're filling the bathtub and they're going to swim around and you don't want to do that. But that little bit of water is no big deal. But mostly when, when I'm doing a bath, I hold, you know, you have the scissor hold. That's a good grip. And then I put their body, they straddle my arm. That's how I do it. Now this hand can hold them secure. So you have the running water already. And I've got a good grip around the body this way that I can do it and have them upright like this. And I can cover and I could get the face this way, okay? And then I have this part, the water's running all over here, and then I can hold them this way on this arm and get their belly under the water, see? So now they're all wet. So now I can squirt the shampoo on and sit them down in that little bit of water to work all the lather all over really good. And then I straddle on the arm and I rinse the same way that I got them wet. Okay? You and you cover them. I do. I can do it in my sleep. So help me. I have bathed hundreds of guinea pigs. cover their face while they're getting water sprayed? Well, basically what you're going to do is you're going to keep it from going right in directly the in the ear. Okay? Oh, okay? I can get the side. I'm holding his head. See? So that when the water is pouring, I can actually run this side of his face under that water to rinse it. And now when you're lathering, you're just going to take the foam on your hand and you're going to rub it in. Rub it in. Because they need their face wash too. Does it burn their eyes? Well, we're not really getting it in their eyes. We're putting the lather where we want it on the face. And now if you get a little water, it's just going to rinse it off. But I have them upright, see? And I'm hold, holding the head. So I can do it like this. And, and we're, I have it back here on top of the head. So, and you just run the face in. Yeah. It's like, okay. It's very, very, very easy He's to do. He's calming, he's like, okay, what? Yeah, and then you can just have them this way for the you belly. You can the turn them, this, get water underneath the arms. What and, I do is I just give them wipes. Yeah. I just wipe it with a non, uh, non-scented uh -huh. face. Is yeah, we had somebody who brought their pig in here, and they've been using wipes on it, and it was so sticky and gummy. I, it, they were pet wipes, and it's like, they sell those? I mean, and, and it left the guinea pig so sticky and gross. I, I, I used to, okay. So I don't know what ones you're using, it's, but the ones that this, this, it's this person the was using white. was no, really It's the organic really ones, sticky. but the non-scented ones. Yeah. So it's not heavily, yeah. I don't want the ones with heavily alcohol or anything. Yeah. Basically, yeah, you want to be able to get, you want to be able to get their skin clean. And using, oh, don't chew on my glasses, please. Um, that you don't want to just clean the top of the fur because that basically wipes that's all they're going to do they have a lot of dead skin build up in here and it make them itchy and they get dandruff and they have all this this dead fur that's not going anywhere with a wipe oh he's got a lot of dandruff yeah he needs a good shower okay I'm see he's complaining mommy. because i'm going against the grain with the fur they don't like that it's uncomfortable when they have all that down like a bad mommy yeah so you're not bad you're not bad but he does need a bath so you can either schedule a bath appointment for here. No, I and did. We'll do I it. did. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. I did. Because we're going on vacation, they're going okay. on vacation. Oh, they're getting a bath while they're staying. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll get on cleaned up. And the bath will get done like the day before you come to pick them up. That way it'll be fresh. 
but I'll yeah. I'll start giving it to you. When's the best time to give them bags? Like, I, we usually do it when it's like, warmer, right? Yeah. Necessarily, because you're going to blow them dry anyhow. Yeah, you'll blow, blow them dry anyways. Okay, so we've had a, a look at you. And we got to look at your teeth. We did your nails. You see your teethies. Oh, you got a little bit of food down at the bottom of that one. Let me see. Make sure it's not stuck. Can I see? Let me see. Let me see. We don't want food stuck in here. You're violating my face. I know. He's got a little bit of food stuck in there. I won't be surprised if that food's stuck there. I know. It's gone. It's gone. We got it off. TVs are all clean now. <laughs> Okay. Huh? Oh, I'm covered in it. By the end of the day, my shirt's been peed on a number of times. So have my arms. I've, I've got hay in my clothes. It's just part of the job. I go home and get straight into the shower. <laughs> so it's all cake. It's all cake. Okay. Yep. Okay. So you didn't do your ears yet. So no, the, his ears are the black ears are going to have more to do than the lighter ones, it will appear. Okay. See? Who belongs to this piggy? You come on up. Dead skin cells. So who do I have here? Nooks and crannies. Yeah, we don't go in your canal. We do this bald area that's right in front of the ear. And we do the flap. And we do the nooks and crannies that are not there. We're just going to do the full house just to make sure we don't miss anything. So yeah, in April, um, she, I had like a appointment for all three of them. And right before that, she developed the ears. I had to clean the ears. I noticed she was slower, but then she had been dipping in weight. She's really skinny right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, then, like right before her appointment, I noticed she her cheeks swelled up, and I, I took her to access okay. Dr. Gleason, who was still there at the time. Marcy Gleason was on the brown side, like, right here, mm -hmm. and it was open for a while. In fact, it was open while she was here. I took her for four days, all three of them. Okay. Um, but yeah. the poor thing, I think she was in pain. And yeah, so, he's got a lot and of the, the, yeah, like, the dandruff and the loose fur, so the bath will take care of that. She was the one. Saving okay, we gotta clean your business too, Mister. Because she has never stopped wanting to eat. She oh, has vainly tried every yeah. time. She will happily eat gluten yeah. and stuff. I've been yep. eating her everything. Emery, the Sherwood stuff. Right. Yep. Um. So. So yeah. They trimmed her teeth. Uh. And then I think because she was still in pain, uh, she wasn't really eating like, her good hay, way. and so they grew back again. So we'll they trimmed see. them one more time. Yep. This was all at access, which How I love. Like sitting so on the little. I was telling you like the last time I brought them here to board because I just wanted them to keep an eye on her weight. Right? Um, and they were like, you know, we can do that like little troll team. So I yeah. noticed she started. We got a bird's eye view. She's still been, kinda. like, I don't think sort of. I've been noticing, like, no yes. swelling or anything. Yes. She doesn't seem to be in, you know, okay. pain. She's actually seemed to feel a lot better than she did the last time this all happened. Wait, but she's obviously not eating, eating enough. Because. I've noticed her hay has been dipping off. She's been eating hay. She loves eating bell peppers. Like, you know, are we a good one? Yeah. So I'm guessing she's having... Uh, you doing I mean, if she's getting minute. better energy, okay. that's a good sign. Yeah, that's why she's eating enough. Like, yeah, I mean, she's still, like, I have videos from like, last time. It's just than them sitting with their butt on the hard around. table. Like, and she's and it also lifts herself. them up yeah, a little bit was, uh, so that I can get to what uh, I'm doing. Are you trying to bite me? Trying to bite me, huh? Well, a lot of times the piggies, when you go to do this, they get kind of frustrated. And they're like, you know, chewing on what they do. Now he's going to come Clean. Now he's gonna complain. You're fine, buddy. Yeah. You're fine, yeah. buddy. Yeah, poop's still yeah, coming out. But see, once okay. he gets um, so to where he can sit, no, it's well, not see, all but, this has to be taken having, off. Like, all those ickies the around so there. Like, like I saw her yesterday. Really really <laughs> yeah. Like, so that we want to clean that off. But do you have to do this? Yeah. I don't know what's going on.
I'm assuming she's yeah. yeah. right. And if you guys aren't in the room, he's already don't take her back to you know, showing us the inside so, so we can make sure there's no haystack in there. Got little bits of gunk. You're fine. You're but fine. Yeah, yeah still, typically mister. with teeth issues, yeah. it's out of the way. And then we're going to try and like, turn the pocket from the inside out. So we need to put this away, And what we do here is we just kind of prolong the visit to the vet because Saskia can chip off any like pointy bits. I know. Sure. So like, the stuff it, that makes you, it kind of uneven. You'd like to take it out and do that like first. So it's cleaner. Because this right. part's a lot dirtier. Uh, some of that off. Right. To do. But sometimes okay. if it's every single you tooth, put that there's not really anything else that you can do. All right. I um, yeah, it's stinky part. Just stinky part. That's yeah. not See, we can kind of turn it a little bit inside out. We need this out of the way, mister. Well, fine. I feel bad making your go under. You need to get that away. Yeah. And also. So she has a little cyst under her oh, skin okay. right here, nothing to be that's concerned right. about, but that uh, could get bigger, okay. and especially because it's on her belly, on here. Okay. it'll probably rupture Almost. at some point because it's rubbing on the ground. Sometimes it's taken the use a little bit here. A little bit of olive oil this gets for to get out, but it's not one too bad. It's the or whatever, but it's, it yeah. seems to have finally closed up, which I was wondering at first. I was like, oh god, I hope this has... But it's not too bad. I don't love the but I just think we have to deal with it. Every couple like, of months, what, yes. Because they, they can get hay shavings in there, plus they can get soft poop accumulated in there when they get a little older. Usually when they're younger, it's it's more elastic and it's not doesn't collect as much, but, I, but when they get older, the, the, I the all of their skin is a little bit uh, more non-elastic and kind of stretched yeah. out yeah. And, and more yeah. stuff yeah. can get in there. Yeah, you're just pooping lots, I'm just moving out of the way. I'm going to rinse out her mouth. Because we're kind of messing with them down there, so it's stimulating him to go. Yeah, that's okay. And we'll get him his ivermectin. This is a drop on the ear to prevent lice, mites, and internal parasites. It's the comes in a vial that's for injecting, like a vet would do that if your pig had mice, they usually only will inject them, which is painful. We found that it's effective just to put a drop on the ear because they have so many tiny blood vessels in their ear flap. So we just put a drop on there, it gets absorbed, we use it as preventative that way every um, three months. Mm -hmm. So, they made an appointment for Now, see, that's why when, remember how he had the wet nose and I was listening to him? We might want to follow up with that because that could be boogers. Right there on his nose. So, we're going to keep an eye. I'll make a note mm -hmm. for while he's here that we make sure he doesn't have enough respiratory. Because that might be that. Because I was listening to him, but it's so noisy out here, I can't really get a good listen to see if he sounds sticky at all. But yeah, he shouldn't he shouldn't be having discharge from his nose. So yeah, we're gonna keep an eye. That looked like a little I looked at his paws and he hasn't been wiping his nose himself. See, normally when you have a, when a piggy's got a lot of snot and boogers, they'll wipe their nose like this and so they have all that crust right on the inside of their paw, which he does not. So it could be something that just started that just started, but we wanna keep an eye to make sure. Yeah, we'll keep an eye. We'll make a note to keep an eye on him. So real quickly, there's yeah. a surrender that came in. None of the pigs came from us. Okay. Um, there's around, I guess, Did they 10 have in an there. Appointment? Yeah, they had an appointment and all. Um, I can't find the application through our Gmails. Okay. Uh, for, so the next step Maybe would be... Maybe text Barry and ask if she was contacted. Make sure. You know what I'm Yeah, all right. Got it. Text Avery and make sure. Okay. So... He's good, but we will make a note to keep an eye on that to make sure he doesn't have something going on. Okay. Hi, baby. Hi, <laughs> cookie. And I give a cookie. <laughs> all right. And we'll clean up all of the ickies. I'm Valerie. Valerie, thank you so much, Valerie. You're welcome. And thank you for all of this. This is very educational for us. And be so checking the the YouTube channel for um. Yeah, we Shasha. have a playlist for just about everything you can think of. But it's like scrolling through it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, when you have time to to just sit yeah, just and enjoy it. an unexpected surrender walk in. So I'm going to show you real quick. It's the stuff we have to do with. Hi, 
kids. ¿Y no tienen nombres? No. no. Oh, okay, pues. Sí. Yeah, little babies. I'm sure they're all over the place. Boys and girls. Es que no, um, compramos yeah, uno. Okay, we're gonna take a closer look at them. Y tuvo cinco. So what we're seeing is see the hair is not that okay. is like malnutrition. Yeah. And look at it. It looks like she's pregnant. I don't even know how many there are, but when a group like this arrives, I'm not gonna say no. Because they just walked in literally. Oh, that's my job cut out for the next two hours. He's not going there, so big in there. Yeah. Okay, so somebody has your pig. Okay, now this one. I'll do a video on that. Okay. They bought one and she's pregnant. Okay, so some friends. It didn't feel, there was like nothing in there, so. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, listen, guys, I am going to say night night because I'm going to have to deal with that. Hi. Um, we're well, wrapping up, so yeah, I, know. I am going to go to the cage and see, you know, where we're going. Them. Don't know either, because okay. a lot, and they need a lot of work. And uh, yeah. so, yeah, um, very sad. Yeah, so I don't know how many are there, but the females probably are all pregnant as well. So I'm, I'm going to focus on that. Thank you all for being here, for watching or commenting for supporting us um and thank you all the mods thanks for you for your timestamps and um i love you Mwah. love you guys have fun it's the weekend Bye.